Welcome back to Vintage HLC Show and Tell. Today we're looking at platinum stamps used by the Homer Lachlan China Company. Before we get into that, I want to talk a moment about gold stamps. Because gold stamps start in the early 1900s. They were used on dinnerware and toiletware. They last all the way into the 1960s. There were dozens of different designs. Look at a couple on these shapes. There's a Colonial Sugar Bowl, Angela Spoon Holder, Seneca Sugar Bowl. This is a shaving mug from the Wyoming shape. Republic Creamer. Cavalier Eggshell Creamer. And a Rhythm Creamer with a decal and gold stamp border. Now, Homer Lachlan started using platinum in 1930 on the Wells shape. And they continue with platinum all the way into the 60s. In fact, we have a Victoria shape sugar bowl with platinum edge line and some details on the handle. But when it comes to platinum stamps, there were not nearly as many platinum stamp designs as there were gold stamps. They weren't used on nearly as many shapes and they were used for a rather short period of time. So with the gold stamps, you see them on virtually every decalware shape. But for platinum stamps, we're going to look at just a few of them. And we'll start with jade. This comes from 1932, or square plate. This is treatment J33 with this floral swag in platinum and a platinum edge line. Not marked, but we know that this is the jade shape. Has that special clair de lune glaze. This uh, particular stamp was also done in gold on some Jewel Tea cake plates. We'll be looking at those soon. And then an oven serve. This one, I call it star flower because it has that little star-like flower in the center. This was used on a lot of uh, royal oven serve as well. It has this nice red edge to it. There's your marking. Casserole, Platinum Stars, Red Trim. This one is OS 71. And then we have what's called Waves, or Platinum Waves with Red Line. This one's OS 139. Royal Oven Serve Cake Plate. Platinum Stamps. I hope that does show up as Platinum when this is uploaded, because it almost looks like gold as I'm filming it. But it is Platinum, and we've got a uh, green edge line. A lot of times it was advertised as silver. Even in some of the decal listings uh, or pattern listings, it's called silver. It has a silver color, of course, but it, it's platinum. Silver would have tarnished. And there's your platinum stamp on a corresponding cake lifter. Rosebuds with platinum edge line. This one is pattern OS68. We'll see that on a ramekin as well. And we have some platinum stamps in combination with decals. Oven served shirred egg. This one has a platinum ring as well as some Virginia Rose type platinum stamps. So we're going to see those on Patrician in a minute. And here's a little custard with the same, same decals and same platinum stamps and edge line. So all these oven served pieces were mid 1930s. We'll look at Coronet. This sugar has a platinum stamp that overlays on the entire embossing. It's on both sides. Have it on the handles, edge line. There's your Coronet marking. And we're going to look at a Coronet Baker. Interestingly, on the Baker, they just have a small version. So it's not covering the entire embossing. So there's your full version on the lid and the partial version on the Baker. And then they have these little added stamps along the edge. No edge line, though, on this piece. This is pattern CO559. So these would be mid-1930s as well. 
Next we have Marigold. We'll start with the platter. There's your Waves uh, Platinum stamp that we also saw on OvenServe. It's the same design. In fact, there's a lot of overlap between the OvenServe and Marigold stamps. So we have the Platinum Edge on this one. Stars, again, we're seeing this overlap between Marigold and OvenServe. This one with the Platinum Stars and the Red Verge. This is, uh, let's see, that one is M145. I had to think about that for a second. This is uh, W137. Rather common on Marigold. This is done for Woolworths. Has the open style uh, little embossed stamp. Platinum edge lines. It's used on several pickup pieces. We see it here on a cable egg cup. So that's your open style. There's a closed style that was used, or a filled in style, I should say, on other pieces. So here's a sugar bowl with the filled in style with red trim and its creamer from 1935. Here's one with no trim, it just has the platinum stamps. It's from 1942, a little bit later. Our stars, yet again, though there's no edge line, there's no trim. This is treatment M112 from 1934. Florida Lees, you will also find this on Oven Serve. You see the filled in stamp, marigold stamp. There's your Florida Lee stamp. This is pattern M116 from 1937. There's also um, a crown stamp you can find on both. Marigold and Serve, though I don't have a piece to show you today. Virginia Rose, VR-124, Patrician. Probably the most common platinum stamp. This was made for many years, well into the 1950s. It has several pickup pieces. There's the cable egg cup. Nautilus lug soup. I think this one's from 48, yes. We see those same Patrician stamps used with other stamps as well. So this sugar bowl, let's see when this was made. 1936. Garland. VR241. We've already looked at this pattern when looking at the Garland video. Generally, this is done in gold when found on other shapes, but on Virginia Rose, it's platinum, also known as three daisies. And this covered casserole, Richard Ratcher, I believe, calls this one spider because of this unusual um, platinum stamp. This is marked with a treatment number MS-104. So that stands for MS Seller which was a West Coast distributor for Homer Lachlan Wares for many years. And this comes from 1934. And finally, Nautilus Eggshell. So we have a clover-like stamp going on here on the border. Petapoint Rose, that's a decal that originates in the coronet shape. This is treatment number N1458 from 1937. There are other platinum stamps, of course, but not very many. There's a, a platinum stamp that uh, was used on Republic. Um, there's some more Marigold. There's some more Virginia Rose. Uh, but this is pretty limited. Again, with gold stamps, it was used on many shapes for many years, about 65 years or more, and there are many designs. But with platinum, fewer shapes, fewer designs, and only about 25 years. So I think that's enough for that for now. Uh, next time we're going to look at some lookalikes.